Hey folks, Country Prepper here. Well, this is one of those topics that uh, doesn't get people real excited, but I think it's one of the most critical things that you need to keep in your vehicle, especially in the wintertime. Uh, if roads get bad, there are a lot of accidents, things like that. So uh, you could go in the ditch or you could get hit by another vehicle. You just never know what's going to happen. So uh, this first aid kit that I put together is focused mostly on trauma and, uh, you know, broken limbs or big lacerations, stuff along those lines. So uh, I'm not going to ramble on a whole lot here. It's a very important topic. Doesn't get a lot of views, but I think it's important enough that I need to cover it. So this is part of the Prepping for Winter series, one of the kits that I keep in my truck. So I'm going to try to get through all the kits before I show you everything I keep in the truck because... Um, you know, then I don't have to show that kit in that video. I can just refer back to the video where I showed that kit. So let's just go ahead and take a look. First things first, on the outside, this is where I keep my uh, Through Night 1A V3. It's the perfect size for fitting in this uh, little sleeve here. And if you guys uh, have been watching my channel for more than a couple of years, uh, this is that bag from the $35 Walmart survival kit that I did a video on. Uh, that kit's been long disassembled and just using the bag for something else. And this other side I have a Sharpie and I'll show you what that's for here in just a second. Uh, it does have some pals webbing, molly straps on the back, and I do have a my little little bitty uh, carry strap on it just in case left side pocket open that up and here's what the sharpie is for is to wow I need to make sure I can get that out of there a lot faster than that but uh, that's so I can write the date and time on the uh, on my tourniquet I also have one of those uh, soft tourniquets I can't remember exactly what they're called like a SWAT T tourniquet or something like that but uh, and then I have a triangular bandage in there as well on the right side uh, I kind of get into this one quite often so I don't have as many of these as I usually do but I usually carry like six well let's see I'd have two four hand warmers and I usually have a couple of the foot warmers as well in here so I got four hand warmers in there right now I need to get some more foot warmers and put in here uh, I also keep a couple of those little sample bags of the survival tabs. You just never know when you might need. I mean, these have a lot of sugars in them. They don't have a lot of calories, but they do have some nutrition to them. So um, it's something to put in your stomach if you're in an emergency and didn't have anything else. It's kind of a, a last ditch type of thing. So they were small enough to fit in here. I figured why not. The last thing in this side is an Israeli bandage. In the front compartment, first thing, I have a SAM splint here, and this is a, a smaller size one that would work good for a forearm break or, uh, you know, a smaller bones or maybe on a child if need be. Uh, next thing is, say, a uh, heat and cold patch. Just, you know, kind of self-explanatory there. I have a couple more of my flat... N95 masks. I actually have something coming to replace these, but for right now, that's what I have in here. In that back pouch, I had a couple of tongue depressors, some duct tape, and this is one of those little LED pocket lamps in case I can't hold on to my flashlight, just need a little bit of light that pops up, and it's really hard to tell in the garage with all the light that I have going in here, but it actually puts off quite a bit of light when you're in the dark. And in the main compartment, I have a couple of these. This is vet wrap, actually. And uh, it's a self-adhering wrap, just like you can get uh, at the dollar store or the pharmacy, whatever. But these, this one doesn't have a price tag on them. The ones that you get there are usually like two fifty, three bucks a piece. These are a buck fifty. So you really can't beat the price on it. And it's it's the exact same thing, guys. This, I think, is from what I understand is a proper favorite because it's less expensive it does the same job this is four inches wide by five yards so that's that's pretty good uh, price on something like that and this is like a um, ace bandage uh, kind of a compression wrap bandage which these also work as a compression wrap bandage but I have it in there just in case uh, more for sprains things like that um, I got quite a bit of stuff in this main compartment Z-Pack dressing for major wounds, major uh, lacerations. Uh, in this trauma pack, uh, this was, I did a video on this trauma pack quite a while ago, but I'm using the bag for something else, and this is all my little gauze pads 
and um, things like that. Some moleskin, uh, different wipes and alcohol wipes and triple antibiotic ointments, a few band-aids, and some, you know, different types of medications, over-the-counter medications. Uh, clearing, oh, and uh, little, little roll of gauze. What else? Some ibuprofen, Advil. This is my bigger Sam Splint, 36 inch. The other one was an 18. So this would be for your legs, for an adult leg size. Um, got a couple of these big, the large AB pad, ABD pads. Very absorbent, very large for like a chest wound or uh, abdominal wound. So I got a couple of those. Uh, in the back of there I have a uh, quick clot clotting sponge. And let's say there's one more thing in here, a pair of shears. Now I am gonna say before all the know-it-alls come out of the woodwork, I am gonna be upgrading this bag, getting something a little bigger so that I can fit some more items in there because I do know there are other things that I should have in my truck with me for trauma, etc. So um, just wanted to show you guys that before I do the overall truck kit and just let you know what all's in this kit. If you have any comments or suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. So that's it for today, guys. Pretty short video, but I thought it was an important one. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.